well, I know this is completely crazy. I went from 25 subscribers to 23 subscribers when I insulted God. Sorry about that. And now I'm up to 37 subscribers and I'm like, how is this happening? Thanks. So I have several videos that I am producing and I don't want to put them on yet until I have the last one so that I can then go from the last one to the first one and they'll be in order. Because if you put one in now, you can't switch your uh, videos around. They won't let you do that. In this video, oh dear me, oh here it is, oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. In this uh, last video, I'm in my room talking about what I accomplished because it's a whole <laughs> series of me getting off my rump, quit being depressed, and start doing things. And I had such a productive day today. And I have so much wonderful news I want to speak about. But first, I would like to read this poem. In my husband's old bedroom, which is now mine, I have put a little memorial table up for him. It has this box of ashes, a small box. I got these boxes from um, Hobby Lobby and it's fantastic when they have 50% off. Definitely go when they have 50% off. Um, I paid full price for that box, unfortunately, the big one, but the other ones I got 50% off and they were very affordable. And uh, so I'm showing his memorial table the rosary I prayed on for him, um, his sunglasses, a few other things, and there was this. And I tried to read it in that video, but I couldn't. So I'm going to read it now. And I'm probably not going to publish this one either until I'm able to pu publish the other one, but I have to finish my room makeover before I start posting them. So I found this in my husband's stuff, and he loved this poem. It meant so much to him. It's called, I know, I'm blind. Look at my glasses. My glasses are so thick, and I still need a giant magnifying glass to read. Hello. The Man in the Glass. When you get what you want in your struggle for self, and the world makes you king for a day... Just go to a mirror and look at yourself and see what that man has to say. For it isn't your father or mother or wife whose judgment upon you must pass. The fellow whose verdict counts most in your life is the one staring back from the glass. Some people may think you a straight shooter chum. <laughs> oh, that's a cute word. Isn't that charming? Some people may think you a straight shooting chum and call you a wonderful guy. But the man in the glass says you're only a bum if you can't look him straight in the eye. He's the fellow to please, never mind all the rest, for he's with you clear up to the end. And you've passed your most dangerous, difficult test if the man in the glass is your friend. You may fool the whole world down the pathway of years and get pats on the back as you pass, but your final reward will be heartache and tears if you cheated the man in the glass. Some of that last one really hurt. Um, you've passed your most dangerous, difficult test. I don't know why my husband, who believed so strongly in the man Jesus Christ, I don't understand why he decided to take his own life. He had prayed so hard that God would take him in his sleep and soon, and he asked me to pray too, and I did, even though I lost my faith some years ago, you know. 
I don't know if I'll ever get it back. It's just empty and dead inside, you know? Anyway. I don't know. I just wanted to read that poem. And, um... And you'll get all the rest of the videos when I am done with my room makeover. And when I'm done getting that in order, and it's not going to be easy because there are things I can't lift. Um, and uh, they have to stay in my room right now. Oh, well. And uh, hopefully my wigs are coming this week and I'm very excited and I'm going to try three new wigs. And I really think they're going to work. Because I am so sick of being bald. I am so sick of not being able to hide it. If you're a bald woman out there, I'm telling you, I feel with you. I've been struggling with this since I was 22. It's awful to struggle with hair loss. Hmm. So anyway, um, yeah. And I have to make another video on my cowboy coffee because somebody asked for it. They are in my videos how I make my cowboy coffee. I did that because of my broken coffee pot. And um, I love my cowboy coffee. I'll make some tomorrow and I'll post it for you. And I have some great news um, about one of my children. It's very exciting. It's her birthday today. And she has the most wonderful gift. She has applied for this job, her dream job, you know, and she got it. She got it. She's going to go from 45000 a year to 60000 a year. She's going to be working in the field she went to college for, environmental sciences. And it's a remote job, which means she can leave New Jersey and come stay with me for a while. And I can see my little girl. She turned 23 today. Would you believe it? I was 41 when I had her. I'll tell you all about that in another video. And um, that was a trip, I'll tell you, being 41 and having a baby, my last baby, my fourth baby. And, um, yep, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'm having a good day. I feel all right. I miss my man, but I'm getting by, and I did so much today. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, my gosh. I worked on my room. I got a lot done there. Um, I worked on my garden and my bush outside and I got that torn away and I have to dig it up now because it's this nasty nasty it's beautiful it, it just f flows out leaves and gorgeous red uh it looks like flowers but it's really the leaves but it looks like little flowers all over the green but it has these thorns that are this long and they hurt oh they hurt well the last frost killed it and I'm like, that looks hideous. And so I cut all the branches down and getting pricked and poked by those enormous thorns. I got them all in a box and I safely bashed it all down so that the poor garbage guys won't get pinched. So that's in the garbage. The garbage is out. I went with my son. I got a bunch of errands and groceries done. I feel good about today. I done good. That's my story. And there'll be more soon. <laughs> Bye. And thank you, everybody. I've started to get comments, and that's so sweet. Thanks so much for coming on my journey with me. It's a silly journey, but what the heck. I'm very lonely, and um, it's really hard to go from being with the same person 35 years. 35 years! And just, he's just gone. And I wanted to share the happy news today. Our little girl turned 23. She got a dream job on her birthday. And Denny, you don't have to worry about our Bonnie. She's doing good and she's going to be all right. Yep. That's it. Bye.